Rapunzel spent most of her life believing that the world was a terrible place, but she soon found out that she'd been lied to by the person she trusted the most. Well, it looks like Mother Gothel isn't the only one who lied. Watch until the end to find out what Rapunzel's real mother's been hiding. Now let's jump right into the secret history of Rapunzel from Tangled. I've been on this incredible journey and I've seen and learned so much. Why Rapunzel's parents never gave up hope. We all know how Rapunzel ended up in her tower, but what we don't understand is how her parents never gave up on locating her. 18 years is a super long time to mourn, which is why many of us were confused about the fact that King Frederick and Queen Ariana continued to light lanterns on the eve of their daughter's birthday, year after year. Rapunzel's father knew that the golden flower held magical properties, but that didn't stop him from seeking it out. In the heat of the moment, he thought that he was saving his wife and future child not harming them. In a way, King Frederick seized his wife's life at the expense of his daughter's freedom. Rapunzel's parents didn't know about her magical powers, because if they had, they probably would have guarded her crib. After their daughter was kidnapped, the king and queen of Corona searched every inch of their kingdom but were never able to locate their little girl again. So if they didn't know about her powers and they couldn't find her anywhere, why keep lighting lanterns for her? It seems like Rapunzel's mom and dad knew a little more than they let on, and that they were compensating for their guilt. Could it be that King Frederick made a deal with Mother Gothel to save his wife's light? Well, it could be. After all, that's how the original fairy tale goes. Queen Ariana was a crowd pleaser. If there's one thing Disney movies have taught us, it's that no one is innocent. While Rapunzel's parents might appear to be kind-hearted, they've managed to make our radars go off. There's nothing worse than losing a child, but surely Queen Ariana and her husband knew that they were taking a risk by using a magical flower for selfish reasons. Tangled is such an amazing Disney movie that producers saw fit to create a series. In Tangled, the series, we get to experience Rapunzel's journey firsthand, and it's here that we start to notice that things aren't what they seem to be. In the episode titled The Way of the Willow, we're introduced to Queen Ariana's younger sister Willow, and it's this character that brings up Ariana's past. In this episode, we learn that when Ariana was just a princess, she was obsessed with pleasing other people. So much so that her eagerness to please and impress harmed her in the long run. So how does a vain person end up transforming themselves into a modest and kind queen? Well, we couldn't tell you, because let's face it, the numbers just don't add up. Could it be that Ariana was never sick at all, but that she wanted her and her daughter to remain young and pleasing for as long as possible? Well, you guys can be the judge of that. That night was supposed to be special. The queen became infertile. Magic comes with a price, and unfortunately the price for life is often death. Two lives were saved when the golden flower was used on Queen Ariana. But to compensate, Rapunzel's quality of life suffered a huge blow. But as previously mentioned, two lives were saved, which means that something else had to have been taken away. Have you guys ever noticed that King Frederick and Queen Ariana never had any other children? Well, we have, and we're having a hard time understanding why they wouldn't. After all, someone needs to take over the crown after they're long gone, right? Could it be that the magical golden flower halted Queen Ariana's reproductive organs? Because this would help put things into perspective. While we didn't expect the King and Queen of Corona to have another baby directly after Rapunzel's disappearance, we found it weird that they spent 18 years waiting for their daughter to come home instead of expanding their family. So we're left to believe that the flower's magic prevented the King and Queen from furthering their bloodline. Does this make any sense to you, or are we grasping at straws here? And what is that? The Truth Behind Queen Ariana's Pregnancy Nothing in this world is free, which is why many of us get taken for a ride when we forget to read the final print. Both Queen Ariana and King Frederick learned this firsthand when their baby girl was stolen from her crib. It's been confirmed that Ariana suffered from a deadly sickness that put her unborn baby at risk. However, Disney also confirmed that Rapunzel was a fully grown fetus at the time of her mother's illness. Since King Frederick wanted to save his wife and unborn child without risking the other, he sent his men to locate a magical golden flower. 
While this flower ended up saving Ariana's life, it put Rapunzel's in imminent danger. But evidently, King Frederick never considered the idea that his unborn baby might be affected by the flower's magic. If he had, then perhaps he would have opted for a C-section and chosen to leave his wife's life up to the gods. Trying to save both his wife and daughter ended up hurting everyone in the long run. So wouldn't it have been better to sacrifice a fully grown woman for a newborn? In the end though, we should cut the king some slack. After all, choosing between two people is never an easy decision. Do you guys think it's possible that Rapunzel's life was never in danger in the first place? But that King Frederick pretended it was to prevent himself from having to raise a child alone? King Frederick repeated Gothel's mistake. Rapunzel spent the majority of her life cooped up in her tower, which led her to have severe anxiety. On top of that, she was made to believe that her captor was her mother, which made her realize that just because someone is taking care of you doesn't mean that they have your best intentions at heart. In the end, Gothel's actions affected more than Rapunzel's quality of life. It also caused her parents to maintain a state of paranoia. After finding out who she was, Rapunzel returned to Corona and reunited with her long-lost family, and things seemed to be perfect for a little while. Before long though, King Frederick lost sight of his morals and began to treat Rapunzel the same way Mother Gothel had. Entangled before ever after, we find out that King Frederick built a wall between his kingdom and the rest of the world, turning Rapunzel into a captive once more. Instead of rekindling his relationship with his daughter, he pushed her away by upping security regulations in the castle. His state of paranoia grew so intense that he even had guards watching Rapunzel 24-7. This caused the princess to rebel and escape her father's reach by going over the wall. In the end, King Frederick's actions caused Rapunzel to come face to face with her magical rocks, which led her blonde hair to return once more. So, in other words, King Frederick was fated to repeat Gothel's mistakes. Rapunzel was never supposed to live. We all love Disney's Rapunzel, and how could we not? She's everything a person could want in a future leader. No! You were wrong about the world. Yet, somehow her existence wasn't written in the stars. If magic hadn't played a part in her development, Rapunzel never would have been born, and we never would have known her heart-wrenching tale. Weeks before the princess was born, her mother got hit with a sudden sickness, which put her life in jeopardy. But instead of letting her go, King Frederick sought out to do the impossible and accomplished his task. But at what cost? From the moment he fed the magical flower to his wife, he cursed his daughter with power so unique. She would spend the rest of her days running from people who wanted to use her for selfish reasons. In the episode, In Like Flynn, we find out that King Frederick used to be in the military, which makes us believe that he's done some things he can't take back. Could it be that King Frederick did something so horrible that he was cursed with losing the ones he loved? If so, that would explain how his wife became terminally ill during her last term of her pregnancy. All in all, there's a reason why misfortune came across the royal family of Corona. We just don't know if they did anything to deserve it. The King's Secret There's usually a reason why people act the way they do, which is what caused us to turn a curious eye towards King Frederick in the first place. So, imagine our great surprise when it was confirmed that the King of Corona had a secret. Nobody wants to lose the ones they love, which is why they'll usually do anything to stop this from happening. In Tangled, the series, some light was finally cast on a family secret that would haunt King Frederick until his dying day. While the king's obsession with keeping his family safe is justified, keeping his daughter in the dark isn't. King Frederick lies to his daughter about the black rock she stumbles across, claiming that he had no idea about their existence. However, it's later revealed that he knows more than he previously let on. So what's the king's big secret? Well, it's that he knew the magical flower would curse his kingdom, but chose to use it anyways. In his hour of need, he opted for the easy way out and paid the big price. So you see, Rapunzel's fate was decided before she was even born, and by her father no less. I have magic hair that glows when I sing. A Royal Sacrifice when you really love someone, you do everything you can to make them happy, even if it means jeopardizing your own happiness. Keeping Rapunzel safe was always the king's number one priority, but he let his fear stop his love from shining through. Just because someone loves you doesn't mean that they get to make your decisions for you. And this is especially true in Rapunzel's case because she was 18 years old by the time she returned home. 
While our parents can sympathize with the hardships she faced, they don't understand what she went through. Because if they did, they would have never resorted to locking her up in a tower for her own safekeeping. It turns out that Rapunzel went from being Mother Gothel's captive to her father's prisoner, and we don't know which one is worse. Tangle the series helps us understand precisely what King Frederick was going through. Feeding his wife the magical flowers caused a flurry of events to occur, which turned a once-loving husband and father into a tyrant. It's clear that King Frederick's actions caused everyone a lot of pain, which is why we believe that a good old-fashioned Disney sacrifice is in order. Do you think that the removal of King Frederick would put an end to the madness that's plagued the royal family since the day Rapunzel was born? Queen Ariana also has powers. We spend so much time focusing on King Frederick that we nearly forgot about Queen Ariana. While she may appear to be as innocent as Rapunzel, we have a theory that might tip the scale. If there's one thing we find a little strange, it's how Rapunzel ended up with special powers, but her mother didn't. So we're left to believe that Queen Ariana might have a little secret of her own. Did you guys ever notice how the Queen of Corona hasn't seemed to age a single day since her daughter was born? Because we did, and let's face it, wrinkles don't lie. While her hair might not shine as brightly as Rapunzel's does, the Queen might have adopted some of the flower's properties. Mother Gothel knew that singing to the flower would bring her youth, but there's a reason why she didn't ingest it. As previously mentioned, consuming the flower's magic comes with a price, but for now, it seems like Queen Ariana is racking up some interest. We'd love to see a second Tangled movie that puts the Queen and King of Corona under the scope, would you? Let us know which theories were your favorite in the comments below. And that's the end of our video. Thanks for watching and see you next time on The Things.